Hey everyone, so uh, the holidays can be a tough time of year for a lot of people, but uh, nothing cheers up a lock picker like some cool old locks. A uh, relative of mine actually gave this these to me as a part of a Christmas gift. They picked them up uh, apparently at a uh, antique store when they were vacationing down south. Uh, so I'm just going to run through them pretty quickly because these are kind of cool. Uh, these two are very obviously very old uh, Yale locks. This one appears to be a either an actual uh, very very old Yale design or uh, a very close copy of it. And this is a pretty cool little old uh, Chicago lock. So we'll just go through them really quick. This is a warded version of the Yale Junior. Uh, and it can be a little bit tricky, but there you go open uh, and this is the tool that you want to use for it because despite the fact that it is single-sided like uh, some of the other warded locks that I've shown you it uh, has a very very narrow space that the warded pick has to fit through so that's that uh, now this one pretty big very wide open and this one will usually do the trick there we go Pretty nice action, uh, despite its age. Now this one is uh, a more traditional uh, Yale mechanism that we're probably more familiar with. And a uh, top of the keyway tension is your friend here because this is a very narrow uh, edge uh, area to work in and you really have to make the most of that to, to maneuver your pick because this first pin, I don't have keys for any of these unfortunately, but you have to get this first one all the way up and there's really no other space to work your pick in. Go in there and... Okay, that's number three that's binding now. Two feels like it's set. And there we go. You know, the, the age of these locks makes it remarkable that they are working so smoothly, but that's as much a testament to uh, the powers of a good WD-40 bath as anything else. Now this uh, Chicago lock, sometimes it'll work with these uh, Chicago wafer jigglers, but uh, this one, been a bit hard on it, and I'm getting a bit worried about how much longer it's going to keep working, so I'm going to use uh, top of the keyway tension and this uh, flat-tipped hook, and it usually responds pretty well to that. So we're just going to reach in there, find which wafer is binding, and hopefully we'll get and open. Or maybe it just doesn't want to cooperate with me today, so we're going to try uh, the jiggler. So remember, insert it, apply tension, and just try to work it in. Now, flip it over. Oh, there we go and open. Now this one is key retaining, so I'm going to lock it back up while we still have the cylinder in the right position. Come on. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. Oh well, well I'll try to fix this later. So, until next time, uh, stay safe and happy picking.